Greetings, welcome to this new video about Thevenin's theorem. In this video, I will demonstrate the application of Thevenin's theorem through a step by step example explanation. By following along carefully, you will gain a clear understanding of how to apply Thevenin's theorem to solve practical problems. Let's dive in and begin with the solve the problem number 20. Let's consider this network consisting of five resistors labeled R1 through R5, as well as two independent voltage sources V1 and V2, and one independent current source IS. The question now is to find the current IX using Thevenin's theorem. IX is the current through the resistor R3. Let's move on to the solution by applying the Thevenin's theorem between terminals A and B, we can replace this circuit with a voltage source in series with a resistor, which will be denoted as VTH and RTH. In our example, RTH is connected in series with the R3, which plays the role of the load. I will start first with the determination of the Thevenin's resistance. This step can be done by disconnecting R3 and removing all independent sources in the circuit, which means the voltage sources will be replaced by a short circuit and the current source will be replaced by an open circuit. The Thevenin's resistance represents the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. That means, that means RTH is equal to the parallel combination of R1 and R2 connected in series with the parallel combination of R4 and uh, R5. And I will consider RA is equal to the parallel combination of R1 and R2. That means RA is equal to R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. We get 2 ohms. And I will consider RB is, the, is equal to the parallel combination of R4 and R5. That means Rb is equal to R4 times R5 over R4 plus R5. We get 3 ohms. RTH is equal to Ra plus uh, Rb. And if we replace Ra and Rb with their numerical values, we obtain RTH is equal to 5 ohms. After finishing the determination of the Thevenin's resistance, we proceed to calculate the Thevenin's voltage. The Thevenin's voltage is basically the open circuit voltage calculated between terminals A and B when R3 is disconnected. To find the open circuit voltage VOC, I will apply the nodal analysis method. But first, I will consider I1 is the current through the resistor R1, I2 is the current through the resistor R2, I3 is the current through the resistor R4, and I4 is the current through the resistor R5. Now, by applying Kirchhoff's current law at node A, we can write I1 plus IS minus I2 is equal to 0. And if we replace IS with its numerical value, we obtain I1 plus 2 minus I2 is equal to 0. Now, by applying Kirchhoff's current law at node B, we can write I3 plus IS plus I4 is equal to 0. And if we replace IS with its numerical value, we obtain I3 plus 2 plus I4 is equal to 0. Now, according to Ohm's law, I1 is equal to V1 minus VA over R1. And I2 is equal to VA over R2. And I3 is equal to v VB over R4. And I4 is equal to VB minus V2 over R5. VA and VB represent the node voltage respectively at node A and B. Now by substituting A and B in 1, we can write V1 minus VA over R1 plus 2 
minus Va over R2 is equal to zero. And if we replace the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, and we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative three times Va plus 26 is equal to zero. Now by substituting C and D in two, we can write VB over R4 plus two plus VB minus V2 over R5 is equal to zero. And if we replace the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values and we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain four times VB minus 33 is equal to zero. From question three, we can write VA is equal to 26 over three is equal to 8.66 volt. And from equation four, VB is equal to 33 over four is equal to 8.25 volt. VTH is equal to VOC, the open circuit voltage between terminals A and B is equal to VA minus VB. And if we replace VA and VB with its numerical values, we obtain VTH is equal to 416.67 millivolt. The current IX can be calculated by VTH over RTH plus R3. And if we replace R3, RTH and VTH with their numerical values, we obtain IX is equal to 41.67 milliamps. After completing the calculations, I perform a simulation using SPICE to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here is uh, our networks drawn in SPICE simulator. This is, is the original circuit and this is, is the, the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. I connect here a non permeter in order to measure the current IX through the resistor R3 in the original circuit and here a non permeter in order to measure the current IX through the resistor R3 in the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Let's move on to analysis. This say analysis, calculate nodal voltage. We can see here that the current is IX is equal to 41.67 milliamps in the original circuit and is equal to 41.67 milliamps in the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. From the simulation, it becomes clear that the current IX is similar when using both the original circuit and the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. This similarity validates the correctness of our calculations. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video about Thevenin's theorem. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,